D365 also has marketing functions allowing you to engage with your current or prospective customers through emails, phone call activities, and other such marketing activities. The marketing section contains three areas, marketing lists, campaigns, and quick campaigns. We'll start with marketing lists. Marketing lists are simply that. It's a list containing potential targets, potential recipients of your engagement. Here we've created a demonstration marketing list referred to as the supply chain managers. A marketing list has a list of members. It starts with a list of members. The members are target users for this particular list where you can launch multiple campaigns into these target users. For this particular list of marketing targets, an email was sent regarding a new product introduction. Here we can see the result of that quick campaign. 10 emails were sent. They were sent out successfully. Not everyone receives them because we do get some undeliverables. We can see here in the responses that of the 10 that were sent, we had five of them actually generated an error and one of them expressed interest. Looks like Hugh responded back that he might be interested. Let's go ahead and open up Hugh. It'll link the email directly to the lead that received this email and we can see that Hugh responded back to the email noting, give me a call next week, but not Monday. Great, perfect opportunity to go ahead and create an activity to plan to call Hugh. He says not to give him a call on Monday, so we'll go ahead and schedule this for Tuesday, next week. And now I have an open activity on my list, reminding myself to give Hugh a call next week, tied to his lead. Campaigns can be emails, they can be phone call blasts as well. If we want, we can take, a, take the same marketing list Run a phone call blast campaign. Let's do a new campaign. In this case, we want an activity type of a phone call. It will be assigned to whoever is assigned to that lead. We can assign that these phone calls be completed by the end of the week. And in doing so, what has now taken place for each of these leads, there is now a phone call activity created for each of them. If we go into the member list, let's open up any of these members. And here we have the phone call activity created for this lead. In fact, it's created for all the leads that were in that marketing list. That's a quick demonstration on the use of the marketing list and quick campaigns. We find that the quick campaigns are easy to use and is a great way to send a mass amount of engagement over to your end users by both emails and reminders of phone calls and other activities, which could be a visit as well.